today we're going to take a look at how to create cables for your kits, uh, for your projects in general. Uh, this could be applied uh, to to many different projects, but in this case we're going to do some cable routing for this um, play carrier that we're setting up. And uh, I had this question many times in the community, um, so we're going to take a quick look at how to create um, cables uh, pretty uh, fast and how to apply textures to them and all of that right so yeah uh, the first thing i uh, usually do is uh set up the the radios and the ptts and uh, whatnot uh on the places that i want them to be and once i'm happy with that uh, that's where i'll start uh creating those cables right um so as you can see the 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 cables that come with the product in this case with the uh, pr 163 radio uh they come straight um and they're of not a lot of use in this way right we could uh, of course add a bunch of geometry here uh, and we could start playing around bending and all that but you can see the results are not um, quite good so um, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna um, start by uh, pressing shift a and we're gonna um, uh, go into curve and we're gonna create a busier curve okay um, once we've done that, we're just gonna create, uh, click on tab or press tab on our keyboard. We're just gonna press X again, and we're gonna delete the vertices, and we just got rid of the the curve. What we're gonna do now is press T on our keyboard, and this is gonna show our tool panel here. And as you can see, I have some tools here for uh, creating curves. I have the draw pen, and I have the curve pen. So I'm gonna use the draw pen here, for example. Um, and here I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start sketching uh, the rough shape of my curve. So let's say this goes something like that. Um, I'm, I would have to check some reference, but I'm pretty sure the the cable from here goes into the bottom of the PTT, and this one on the top goes to the headset. Uh, but yeah, just f um, for the example, we're gonna ignore that, and we're just gonna make it that way. So um yeah now we have our curve here i can uh either press tab to get out of uh, edit mode or go back into object mode and i can move this uh i could also uh, right click it and set the origin um to the uh, geometry that's gonna move the our pivot point to the center so now i can rotate it and all that stuff uh so i'm gonna place it roughly uh where it's gonna be so somewhere like that um and the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go here to the right panel um, and I'm going to click on the data properties uh, for the object. Uh, I of course have the curve selected so that's very important. Please select, uh, first select the, the curve and then you go into the data properties. You can scroll down a little bit. You're going to go here into geometry. Um, you want to search for the... Um, uh, sorry. Yeah, inside geometry, bubble and here in the depth you're gonna start fine-tuning here your settings uh, you're gonna see that uh, that's way too thick um, so we're gonna go a little bit lower something like 0 03 or something like that and I'm gonna check uh, it's roughly the same uh, width as my um, as the cable that I created uh, previously so yeah I'm gonna go with something like that um, so now I can either hide this or get rid of it whatever um, and yeah, I'm gonna hide this as well for now because it's annoying me a little bit. Um, but yeah, now we have here something that resembles a cable. Um, and now we can go into edit mode and we can start fine tuning these, um, these curves, right? So, the first thing I want to do is make sure the cable starts where it should. Uh, and then you can also create or remove points here, you can scale them down. Uh, and this takes a little bit of practice, uh, but it's it's very intuitive to use and fairly straight straightforward. So, yeah, you can rotate a scale and transform uh, and move around all these different points. Um, so yeah, it just takes a little bit of um, of time and practice, uh, but it's uh, fairly easy. If you press E when you have a point selected, it's gonna extrude it. Okay, so you, that way, that's one of the ways you can create more more points. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna start um, fine-tuning this. I'm gonna get rid of that guy because I don't need it. 
uh, and you can start uh, I don't know let's say you want it to go through the plate carrier just to have some cable management there um, yeah something like that something like that boom and now uh, where's my yeah there you go let's do the points I can move this guy here and you can see it has these handles right so you can also move those guys and you're gonna get different effects um, depending if you make them bigger you make them shorter uh, you're gonna get different um, different effects from the cable so yeah just play around with it until you're happy with with your results uh, something like that let's say and I'm just gonna move this up I'm gonna get rid of this guy because I don't need it and yeah same thing here I can just rotate that guy maybe smaller and put this guy in here something like that I can make this guy a bit smaller and then this guy a bit bigger like that and I usually when it gets to the to the end point of the cable I just like extruding it one time and making the handle super small by cleaning them and uh, this usually gets me the best results um, like that because uh, that way now I can actually move this guy and it, it looks like something is coming out of the PTT right so so yeah something like that um, that looks pretty good we could maybe uh, put this guy a little bit more inwards so it's not sticking out as much there you go um, that's pretty cool so let's say that we're happy with the with the cable how it is like this um, and now what we're gonna do is uh, what I like to do at least uh, it's uh, shift D to duplicate this guy okay it's here now I'm gonna right click so it stays in place um, but I have my curve and I have the duplicate curve right so I'm gonna bring this guy to a new collection I'm gonna call it curves for example and basically this is gonna be my backup because uh, now we're gonna convert this curve into an actual mesh that we can play around with so I just like doing a duplicate in case I want to change anything in the shape of the curve I just like to make a, a, a backup for it so I'm just gonna hide that for now because we're not gonna use it um, but yeah I can come back to the original um, hold on let me get this guy out uh, I just want hold on put it on the scene there we go um, yeah so original curve and then duplicate curve uh, inside of a new collection that's a bad cap um, so yeah now I'm clicking on the original one and I'm just gonna go into object convert mesh so now this guy is an actual uh, mesh actually uh, before doing that uh, especially if you're working on a on a game and uh, something that needs to be more optimized you might be like okay this might be a little bit too much geometry for what I'm I'm needing so uh, to change that we're gonna do is this control C uh, go back to where when this was a curve right um, and then here on the data properties as well there's a couple of things we can change um, we can scroll all the way to the top and you can see here the resolution preview uh, you can see if we bring in bring that down quite a lot is gonna also bring the um, the geometry down uh, I think 12 it's decent for this case uh, we don't get a lot of facets in there uh, but it's also um, contained right you could go as low as high as you want and that's gonna depend on your on your curve um, and you, you could also keep it at 14 for example and then uh, later on remove some curves but the one that I like to uh, bring it down the most uh, is this one you can bring it down to one for example and you might see there the difference uh, but basically here actually you're gonna see it there yeah so that's reducing the the amount of loops that um, conform the curve so that's actually gonna uh, remove our a lot of geometry there um, so now we're gonna go into object converge again and make it a mesh and you can see now it's a more 
way more clean uh, geometry and now we can actually go in and remove even even more loops if we if we feel like it um, but yeah again that's gonna be depending on your project so that's how you convert the the curve into um into a mesh so now uh we have a mesh uh, but it's white right so we want to make it not white um so what we've done here is um in most at least in our most recent products in most of them um we've added um if we go here into the uv editing panel um let's uh, enable the textures uh, let's change this and if you go into the materials of um, of anything of our latest products that has uh, something like uh, uh, cables and, and stuff like this in them, you're going to find, um, in this case, not on the radio, but on the accessories. If we open here the texture, you can see here in the, in the UVs for the uh, radio accessories, right? So th this product, for example, for the radio came with two different texture sets. Uh, one is the um, the radio itself, and the other one would be the accessories. Okay, so in this case, on the accessories texture set, we added you can see here this uh, a stripe here uh, for the UVs, um, and uh, you can now basically uh, grab your curve, and we're gonna select one loop that goes all the way around the um, the mesh, and we're gonna right click, mark a seam, and that's gonna create a a cut all the way around the mesh. So now we're gonna go into face mode. Um, we're gonna select the entire curve. We're gonna select the entire UVs uh, by pressing A, and then we're gonna press U, um, and then we're gonna interrupt uh, angle based. You can also try conformal. Uh, it's gonna give you different results. In this case, we want something that is uh, as straight as possible, uh, so you can. Uh, you can go with angle base. You could also then use different tools. Uh, here, for example, I'm using text tools and I can rectify this even further. So now it's super straight. Um, and now we, we, what we're just going to do is going to rotate that and just uh, put it in the, in the stripe of, of textures that we've uh, added here. And now the only thing we gotta do is just look for the accessories material and give it to the curve. So we're gonna do accessories here. There you go. You can see it there. And there you go. We have a fully textured cable. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we also have uh, other assets like this one, for example, where you can find um, uh, the cable uh, to be black, for example. So this one is the S23. There you go. So you see here, same thing. We have a a stripe there. Uh, it's also tileable, so you can uh, make the cable as big as you want, and the texture is gonna tile. There you go, guys. That's how I would go about creating uh, cables for my projects uh, and using our assets and our textures. Uh, uh, additionally, if let's say uh, you don't have um, texture, for example, for um for the cable here you could also always give it like a new material um get rid of that guy for example give it a new material and call it a uh, cable for example whatever and you can just make it black and you can this uh, do this in any game gene a game engine or uh any 3d software so and then you can here play around with the roughness and you have something that already looks like a cable. Of course, the texture doesn't have all these cool details that we add to our own textures, but that's another way you could um, get around uh, around this issue, right?